Alright. So as you become numb to the what the fuck horror moments, true. <laughs> that is, yeah, that's a valid point. Yeah. Um, alright, so. Uh, we're gonna be doing, actually, you know what? I did one of these off stream. Let me just double check. Because I think I did parole off stream. Alright. One last time. City of Shirakawa, Japan, 1980X. Something strange is happening in our town. Rogue figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing, discussing creatures terrorizing the seaside. Rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort but new unknown threats. Old gods, malicious elders, beings who ruled the earth eons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the sea and realms beyond. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand, and you finally arrived in the doomed town. All right. One second. I'm gonna just add, add a uh, parole, um, add a uh, parole violation to my like list here. I did this. No. Oh, well. But yeah, so we're down to just the last two, um, uh, two challenge mode runs. Uh, one of them is counted towards the achievements; the other one isn't. So we're gonna be focusing on the one that is uh, tied to the achievements tonight. But I will, I will be doing both because honestly, I've kind of hit the point where it's like you know these aren't really that hard. They're like they're okay. They're they're not super hard though, like. If I really wanted to grind it out, I could just, like, basically do them whenever and really force it. Uh, it's been it's been a good game, though. Uh, I hope everybody's enjoyed World of Horror. I know it's a little bit... Um, a little bit of a different game to, like, listen to and watch. Uh, it's become more of a puzzle game than a fight, uh, a fight and horror game. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, uh, we have two... two ones we need to do here. We got Wrong Book, uh, which, like I said, isn't covered in the achievements. Um, which actually isn't, it, like I said, it isn't particularly hard. Uh, it's on hard difficulty, but they swap your Necronomicon with a cookbook, and with the cookbook you get uh, a chance to get a random food item, like, uh, basically every, every encounter or two, I guess you can have a chance to get a food item. And the food items are usually really good. Like, they give you health back, they give you benefits, so... I mean, Wrong Book is actually quite... Probably one of the easiest challenge runs here. Yeah. Italian Family Cookbook, exactly. But the one we're gonna focus on tonight, first and foremost, is Mimi's Little Project. It's time to put my knowledge to use, challenge level 3 star. This is the hardest out of the bunch of them, none of them are 3 star, besides this one. Uh, difficulty is hard mode, true believer. Um, characters Mimi, backstory, world of horse, no backstory, random god. Uh, special rule, before each investigation you'll have to choose one experiment to perform. I don't know what this means, I have I have not spoiled this for myself, I have not looked up anything, so, uh, we're gonna get into it. Oh, really good elder god, um, Kithakatarasu is once again awakened from its slumber, so it's, it's the spider god. Um, you can't escape from combat encounters. Which honestly, don't get me wrong. Like one of the one of the milestones in this game is like knowing when you can escape from things, and when it's gonna be in your benefit to just run, um, which I think is really really like good by design in this game because I think the fact that like not engaging with every encounter being a correct answer is a really clever way to thread running away into the strategy of the whole game. Whereas like in a lot of RPGs and a lot of things, running away is always seen as just like a natural loss. Like it's just, you know, you're not getting experience, you're not getting money, you're not getting anything out of it. Uh, so in this, it actually, there's a benefit to running, but we can't run. So this, this can be, this can be bad, but it's probably not as bad as some of the other ones. All right, so we're gonna be Mimi. Uh, Negative 20% max reason. That's not great, but you know. And oh, we start with the scalpel. That's very interesting, actually. Uh, it's a knowledge weapon. We have very good knowledge, so. Um, these little uh, not here little project. Okay. 
so um like i said i'm not gonna read every single little piece of information i'm not gonna read every uh event and all that i'll read maybe like the initial you must commit yourself to one project before you're continuing the investigation okay oh no that's right two were a fucking nurse and replace the liquid in your eye with a saline solution <laughs> that's not good oh no uh, stab an ice pick through the nose to disable the pain receptors in your brain Negative two knowledge and negative one incoming damage. Oh, that's actually not bad, actually. It would just give ourselves a little lobotomy. Great. Cool. Just as a treat. Uh, forcibly rewire your <laughs> tubular system. Everyone luck fail all event checks. Oh, God. Uh, break your arm and form a new joint. <laughs> that is not how that works. Um, okay. Well, uh, we're learning a lot about Mimi, and what did she do? Was she a, did she actually go to her classes and play a second human heart? Negative one charisma, 5% doom. Sell your kidney to finance your project. Uh, negative three max stamina, plus one fund. Uh, cut off your cut off your kneecap. Negative two dexterity, negative one item slot. I haven't seen this page before. This is from the challenge mode. Uh, new random injury each mystery plus two kick damage Grab bear claws to your toes Okay, these are amazing. I kind of wish these I I'm kind of hoping that if if we ever have to do this again that these are like randomized like descriptions because these descriptions are fucking amazing She's not very good at this. No, um right away as bad as this sounds the lobotomy is probably our best pick because it's actually a huge, huge benefit. Um, negative one incoming damage is like really strong. That's like having Kana in your party, basically. Uh, for the cost of two knowledge, which is... Knowledge is important. It's actually our damage stat, so... Yeah, that's why she's practicing, right? <laughs> Crack, how you doing? Uh, I'm gonna go with this one. It's... that's reasonable. Okay, we got an empty bottle, so right away we can get some extra health, uh, get some extra experience. Open this up, open this up, get our extra money, uh, take a look at our outfits. Some good ones here. Um, I actually have the same, same outfit. <laughs> I'm like, mm. That's cute. All right. Tick top Joker is kind of fire right. Um, all right. Um, so what are our mysteries? If I don't like the layout, if I think the layout is like built to kill us, or like, you know, is built for a loss, because occasionally you get like a run that's just like five bosses, and it's like, why would I ever fucking take that? It's a waste of everybody's time. Uh, if I feel like it's a bad one, I'll re-roll, but I'll only re-roll once. So we got Contagious Coma, which is neutral. Noisy Nails, which is mostly neutral. It is it is a boss fight. Crimson Cape is also a boss fight, so we have two bosses. Botanist is a, another boss fight, which... I mean, I know a way out of this one to avoid the boss fight, but it is... There's three bosses so far. Crown Footage, which is not a boss fight. Hmm, this is a really hard call. This is a... usually in a run, like ideally, you only want botanist is optional, isn't it? Yeah, you can you can just take the take the L on botanist and be mostly fine. Her needs more hoof. Uh, she looks kind of like code, maybe a little bit. Yeah. Um, so we have this is a guaranteed boss fight. These two are guaranteed boss fights. Botanist is an optional, technically. I didn't realize this one was optional for like the longest time. Uh, Contagious Coma is optional, but your loss, like the loss condition, is like really bad. I'll take a, I'll take a gamble and reroll. Okay, we got Frightening Flood, which is <sighs> it has a guaranteed boss, but we get a full heal out of it. Vomiting Eels, which is top shelf. That's an excellent starter. One of the one of the best cases. Uh, 
Awakening Bulletin, which is neutral. There's no boss to this. There's no boss that we have to worry about. Uh, Residential Recluse, which is, in my opinion, maybe my favorite uh, case. And Morbid Mermaids, which is also a boss. We have... Uh, we have two bosses... We have three bosses, once again. Um, this is this is okay, though. We'll do Evolving Eels. So, Eerie Episode Evolving Eels. So the gist of this one is, is that our uh, substitute teacher is bringing weird jars of eels into class and it's Kana's like, we're going to solve this mystery. I'm like, Kana, please. Uh, uh, yeah. So we got to, first of all, we need to, we, we started with a weapon, didn't we? That's rare. I don't usually start with weapons. Uh, we'll go to the cult shop right away just to, mm, no, uh, hold up. I think this through. Hmm. Uh, we got a weapon. I can hold off. So we'll do the seaside. We'll explore it twice to get the alternate. Yeah, just like my third grade teacher. I see. <laughs> yeah. Mudded, mudded bug. How you doing? Yeah, mudded bug. How's things going? A negative two reason. Okay. Whatever. There's a. There's something out in the ocean. Uh, uh, stop. This is a crime scene. Focus on the officers. Yeah, shoot them with my laser eyes. Perception check success. You know something weird? Every officer has a tiny tattoo on their neck. Who are they and what are they really doing here? Okay, so... Hmm. Communal tattoo. Uh, you just want Kana in the party. Of course I'd want Kana in the party. Kana's amazing. Why would I not want that? Kana is, like, top shelf. Uh, the pair that has been following you since this morning have managed to make you lose, uh... You finally managed to lose them, but you can't shake the feeling that it'll only get worse, so... Being followed. But not, like... There's worse things that could follow us. Impossible angles, seemingly moving lines, make your head spin, stare in disbelief, negative one reason. Uh, neighbor's office is empty. Alright, so we're gonna take a quick... We're gonna take a quick break. Actually, what is Mimi's, uh, prepare item? There's enough characters in uh, the game that is really hard to... Um, Mimi's prepare item. How to remember all these anatomy book. Hmm. What? Oh, okay. You spend two stamina and get eight experience, which is kind of good. Uh, welcome back, action. Uh, it's kind of a good one to have. I'm willing to take it. So we got the anatomy book. It prevents us from overhealing, basically, which is good. So we're gonna heal real quick, so bring our stats up a little bit. And this is exactly the type of situation where you want to use the anatomy book, so we're gonna use it. Maybe two stamina. Gives us a little bit of experience. And then we rest once more. Brings our stats up again. So, there we go. Yeah. Oh, healing is bad. No, no, trust me. It's okay. Uh, what do you get for doing the side quest? Um, usually it's an advantage for... Um, usually it's an advantage for the end result or leads you to the alternate ending. Usually a distinctly better ending which rewards you with more experience. Usually, but not always. Uh, some of them, some of the side quests really don't matter because, like, the endings are both kind of neutral. Um, but in other cases, like, the end, the doing the side quest is, like, super, super important. There's some where you can't get the good ending if you don't do the side quest. There's some that, uh, doing the side quest opens up a better option or speeds up the process. Yeah, so, like, uh, definitely important to do. Um, uh, important to do, I should say, for the ones that are, like... Like, for example, there's one called Contagious Contagious Calma. If you do the side quest, you actually fight a boss, which is a harder ending, but you get more experience for doing it. And if you don't do the side quest, you're default. It's a, just the default ending. And the default ending means you lose, like, some stats at the end and you get less experience. So just assumed it was bad endings uh, the whole way through. I mean, they're not always good endings, but they're rewarded. <laughs> It's just some experience at the end of the chapter. Yeah, it's it's called doing a thorough investigation. 
All right, excuse me, do you have a moment to talk about our real Lord and Savior? The day of reckoning is coming, says a voice on the other side of the line. You definitely don't like the way the man put on the other side of the line and put an accent on real. Well, are you still there? Listen to the man. So we get negative three doom, or negative five percent doom, negative three reason, which is a pretty good exchange. Uh, like I said, this is like, we've played this game for two months. I'm not going to read all the flavor text, but I'll do what I can. Ooh, small cocoon. Uh, wonder what kind of animal uh, the spider caught on its web. You scare away the annoying predator and rip open the cocoon to reveal a human finger. This is something that like someone that's crazy would do. This is, what the fuck? Oh, we got the rock ring. Plus one strength, negative two max reason. Uh, that's money in our pockets, so we want to take that. Kind of is right. So, uh... We're gonna, once again, we're gonna use the anatomy book. That'll give us a little bit of experience. We're gonna go back home. We're gonna rest. So, bring our stats back up. Um, I could actually do it again. Because we're going to rest once more. There we go. Keep our stats up good and high. We're at 22%, which isn't actually that bad. Uh, yeah, 11 fingers to fight the boss with. Yeah, I know, right? What a score. Um, so far this one has been really hard for the, uh, on a reason, which I guess I should probably move over slightly so that y'all can see my reason score. Uh, suddenly got, uh, got really cold in a corridor. As you turn to leave, you stop by a man with unnaturally pale skin and giant lips. He kisses the air, taking a step closer. Oh no! It's Gigolo! Not Gigolo. Um, alright, so... What do we want to do? What is our best strat? We have 65 hits, so maybe two two props into a swing. This would be four and four, that'd be eight. Uh we could do we could do one prep for 75. We can't get three out of it though, so we're really best to just do three preps. Yeah, okay. So um damn, if only it was anything but reason. Um We could do one prep into this, which, I mean, ideally we would want to do it the other way around. So this would be four and six, so that'd be ten. That's actually kind of better. There. I should have did that the first time, because I saved myself an extra hit. There we go. Alright, so, uh... Suddenly in the air around you begins the world. Supernatural wave of freezing wind is approaching. Brace yourself. Try and check failure. The blizzard chills you to the bone and disappears as quickly as it began. Maybe two stamina. We're gonna use our item to get a little bit of stamina back. Think about how stupid it was of uh it is of Kana to try and break into your neighbor's apartment. You go to sleep. Alright. Um. Alright, the pool is empty at this hour, it's dark, but you can swear something uh it's where something suddenly moved under the surface of the water. Um, this one's potentially a fight. This one... I forget what checking the lockers leads to. But this one is just like to negate the event entirely, so I'm just gonna go with it. Oh, and we also get a reason apparently out of it, which I completely forgot. Alright, so we're gonna go to the apartment, neighbor's kitchen, we're gonna go check on Kana. Okay, so I found the neighbor, but his eye burst, and I slipped, in, I slipped on the blood and lost consciousness. I'm afraid there's something in my own eye now. Okay, surgery warning, we're gonna do some minor surgery. Alright. Just put our finger over it. You just put your finger in the hole. Anyway, sorry about that. Yeah. Oh no. Shocked, you see countless tiny eels crawl your friend's eye in all directions. The rest of the hospital with Kana getting a lot of attention from more people. You take your friend immediately to the operating theater and you collapse in a chair in the waiting area. Fall asleep. Wake up, dude. You've been sleeping for over three hours. You groggily open your eyes and see your friend Kana is wearing an eye patch. Not so pretty anymore, eh? I don't know. I don't know. I think Kana looks pretty good with the eye patch. I couldn't exactly tell the doctors the truth about what happened. I'm pretty sure I won't be winking with my left eye anytime soon, but thank you for saving my life. There we go. So, processing the events of the last, uh, Crossing the vents of the previous night, corpse eating eels lay eggs in their eyes. Assuming you're front Kana before your apartment building, you watch the police officer to empty out your neighbor's place. Uh, that's it. Yo, sunglasses. Yeah, let me get my sunglasses. Uh, so, okay. 
So that was a thorough investigation. Okay, I contaminated water. Oh, what a bad first first curse to get. Yeah, one mystery down, 23% doom, which I don't think is too bad because we did take the bonus item and uh, we actually leveled up. So that's pretty cool. Bad first uh, first event though. It's a shame. Uh, taking damage in combat grants a small experience bonus. Um, that's slightly like, tempting. We can do that. And it's early enough, we can probably regain some more reason, so I'm not too worried. I'm gonna put points into knowledge. Alright. So, pass learner, take this. Alright, we have to pick what we're doing next. Um. Oh! It changes, changes... 10% chance in all combat actions. Okay. No, it didn't change them. Okay. Um... This one actually isn't too bad, but like, plus two kick damage. Well, plus two kick damage actually isn't terrible. You know, yeah, you want to be able to heal this one? Oh no, yeah, not today. Uh, we'll just do five, eight of one charisma, five percent doom. That's like not that bad. That's like that could. There's events that do worse. Uh, okay, so uh, could be better. Uh, okay, so that's one down. We have. Uh, our best bet is to do one of these ones. Um, more of mermaids is actually probably the safest out of the three of them. The thing with about the thing about residential recluse is you're locked in. You can't like you're not in a state where you can recover very easily. Um, beckoning bulletin is a good like break. So what we might do is we might do more of mermaids. Uh, beckoning bulletin. Residential Recluse and then Frightening Flood. Might do it like that, which seems probably reasonable. So we'll do Morbid Mermaids, which is admittedly, admittedly pretty dangerous. Um, well, yeah, okay. So we're doing Morbid Mermaids. Uh, the janitor is obsessed with mermaids and he's gonna build one of his own. Okay, so we need to do the seaside location. Do we know? Do we? Hmm. Okay, so the empty bottle at this point, we can't really store any liquid, so I'm just gonna sell it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the cult shop. Um. Nah. Nothing really good here. I'm roll once. Okay, we got tainted violin, which is funny. Mask would also be kind of tempting. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do Tainted Violin. Tainted Violin's much better. Um, Alright, there's one thing... Okay, so we're going to... We'll, we'll do our extra investigations. I don't really remember what it does for this one exactly, but... Oh, following a barking sand, you find yourself on a beach surrounded by rocks, I don't know. It's either the seal line or the... Yeah, it's, it's a goblin seal. Awful. Ugh, the beauty of nature. So majestic. Okay. <laughs> Doggy, exactly. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, if I... Okay, it's a gamble in the second one, but uh, we could do we could do like this. That brings it up to seventy-one percent. So ah, I missed. Crap. Okay, well that's fine. This is what it is. It's only doing one stamina damage, which isn't bad. Is that bad? All right. So we're going to make sure I should check to see if I'm injured or anything like that. No. No, we're fine otherwise, so we're just gonna rest. Resting is a super important part of the game, so uh I've been a sock puppet, oh my god, no. <laughs> uh, um Okay. 
Following, following the agonized screams, you discover a man with a horrifying, disfigured arm. I haven't seen this one before. Something murky and crystalline uh, seems to explode out from the bone and is up through the skin. His muscles spasming in pain. It pleads with you to help. It sure is a good thing you found him. Uh, amputate the limb. Perform surgery. Uh, dexterity checks success. Uh, working quickly but carefully, you manage to... Uh, Ex exercise the protrusion before they can continue spreading. You stitch up the last gashes and escort the man to the hospital. Plus two reason, plus ten experience. That was really good. God, that helped us out a lot, actually. Because <laughs> we want to try and keep our stats as even as possible. Despite your best efforts, you feel like the neighborhood's starting to change. The location threat level increased. Okay, so Seaside's a little bit more dangerous. That's fine. Um. Yeah, we saved a man. Excised. Basically cut out. Okay. Um, we could do this. We get a little bit more money. Which we at least keep, uh, the money guy off our back. Negative one, uh, negative one stamina plus one fun. We broke the, we broke the trophy case window and stole a trophy. That's all that was. Suddenly everything slows to a crawl. Oh, time warper. Um... Once again, 75, so 85, 95. Nice, 14. Perfect. That was that was a good fight, actually. You find notebook containing, uh, okay, details. Ah, okay. Oh, it's the birds and the meat, isn't it? It's the birds and the meat. Uh, negative one stamina, negative one reason. All right, we're going to probably. Jeez, we're we're climbing really fast on our doom. I'm a, starting to become a little concerned. Uh, maybe I've been a little bit too vigorous with my healing. Uh, we'll we'll just ride it out. My metro line uh, in town connects to university, the science complex. Uh, take the ride. Uh, even though the metro car is completely empty, negative two percent doom. Perfect. Uh, that gives us an, we can heal. Gives us a little bit more space to heal. Um, experts are baffled. We get free spell, but we don't have any to cast. So to school. The trail growing cold. It might be time for a different approach. Uh, it's, it's a waste of time. Um. Maybe one stamina. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure what the other option was. Okay. So, you bust through the door to the janitorial closet, but it's already too late. The latest missing girl is lying on a dirty mattress, her upper torso at least. The tail of a fish has been cruelly sewn in place of her legs. She's too weak and died. You hear the mad janitor say he looks you up and down. Maybe you'll do. Uh, not giving up after uh, the previous failure, the obsessed janitor has found another body to experiment on you. Uh, hey, this would be a waste of beautiful legs. Just saying. My legs are okay. <laughs> mm. Um. Okay. 65, 75, 85. I think actually it might be in our best interest to fight them. Because if we're doing potentially 10... 10 per, uh... 10 per turn... So three damage on both. We'd avoid getting burned. I don't have enough money to ward off being burned, so. Hmm. Uh, alternatively, what do we have for dodging? Nothing. Can't brace either. I just did a single into into dodge. What do I get? Hmm. Uh, I'll do this and see how it goes. I dodged, okay. So that means that... So it's just straight up three turns. How much damage am I doing? That was six. So it'll be four turns if I just go for single strikes. Four turns, three turns. 
Well, it'd be a little over four turns for single strikes, so it'd be five turns. But I'd be taking no damage. But it might be... This one's to see a mermaid. Don't kill him. No, we have to defend ourselves. Yeah. I did not consent to becoming a mermaid. Have you ever had a dream? Yeah, I have my own dreams. That's why I'm fighting. He wants to, if he wants to see a mermaid so bad, he can cut off his own legs. There we go. Okay, you know what? Honestly, fighting him was probably worth it. Mad Janitor's body slumps to the floor. You pick up uh, his axe and use it as a crutch. You try to leave the room. Injured and weakened, you slowly lose consciousness in the school corridor. So, police officers find you a few hours later. No trace of the Mad Janitor is found, but you will sleep a little better tonight knowing that the students are safe. Some of the other uh, endings for this one are actually quite funny. Ooh, plus two funds. That's really good. We've got their investigation. We get to level up. Um, once again, I think I'm probably just gonna go with knowledge. Uh, we have pretty good stuff here, honestly. Uh, these are all quite good. Be a merman, not a mermaid. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just thinking. I can't heal in the way I would like to. Uh, let's do, let's do dexterity luck. Dex, let's do dexterity. Quick thinking can come in handy. Uh, things are more expensive. Great. All right, we gotta choose new operation. Um, let me see. So, I think one perception, I think 10%, uh, fail all luck events. This one's not too bad, but it depends what injury we get. Cause like some injuries are really bad. Um, we have potentially enough to fix an injury, so. What injury did we get? Wait. What injury did we get? It didn't... It didn't... didn't fucking do anything, did it? Oh my god, we're just better! We just... We now have bear claws on our feet. Hmm. Got to bear claws to your toes? Yeah. We have a medical degree. Don't don't question it. <laughs> okay, so we have uh so oh shit, I didn't record what my second enemy was. Um, it was Time Warper, wasn't it? I'll write that down just in case. Mermaid was our second mystery. Med student. Also certified. <laughs> yes, sort of certifiably insane. Yes. Each mystery, I assume it's at the end of each mystery. Oh, maybe. Alright, so. Ugh, I hate this. We're right on like a line right now. I can bolt and we can end like with full health. <sighs> Sucks. Uh beckoning bulletin. Yeah. Uh so yeah, there's a bulletin board in Shirakawa, and people who visit it decide that decide to throw themselves in front of trains. It's it's, it's a problem, so we gotta investigate this bulletin board. Fortune, yeah, yep, you nailed it. At least she's enthusiastic, right? Just to get the forest. Uh... Okay, yeah, we. Oh, here we go. Okay, it's until the mistress. Deal one negative one damage on all combat actions. Um, that's a major injury. We can go to the hospital and fix that though. There we go. Oops. 
easy. Just it is just too. Uh... All right, perfect. Okay, to the forest. Hmm. Drooping tree branches, hangover path, and most macabre way. Almost inspiring. Uh, Christmas check success plus ten experience. We have really good rolls this run. Everything considered. Okay. What you thought was just a discard pile of clothes suddenly moves as it stands up a cloud of white patterns released into the air. It's the Kaneko Gatherer. This guy's all sport up. Um, he's just negative one and one. Hmm. It's just Jerry. Yeah. He's in the woods again. Like the mushrooms. If we dodge one, this would put us at an even two turns. We didn't dodge. Okay. So we can't run. So we have to. We have to fight. Okay, we get the forest note. Listen to the voice of humanity. <sighs> Resting is probably advisable right now. And we can rest once more. Alright, 10 and 10. That's pretty good. Yeah, most structures I've seen felt like they'd rather be anywhere else than dealing with me, so maybe it'd be a nice change. Oh. She seems to. If you want, if you want bear claws, she's the doctor to talk to. She's in the middle of a baseball field built uh, back on the school head team. Uh, it's become overgrown. Suddenly, something feels very wrong, but you can't place it. What's wrong? Perception check success. Uh, someone has drawn a weird occult symbol on the sand patch. You quickly erase it with a branch. Uh, ah, cult defeat at negative two percent doom. It's actually once again good rolls. Uh, you enter the metro car. Uh, this is a this is a dex check. Um, we're we're more likely to succeed than fail, but also I forget what failing does in this one, but I feel like it's bad. Uh, negative two reason. Yeah, it's not good. Um, goddamn computers are heavy. Yeah, mood. Uh. Hot bath, I think, is stamina, but like we increase our doom. Cold bath, I think, is just neutral. I don't think we get anything. No, we get experience. Rest up again. I'm really wary about this. Oh, uh, woman jumps out of the apartment complex covered in gore. Between stops, she tries to explain what happened. She's taking a shower when suddenly the shower had serpent spraying blood. Uh, Christmas check failure. When you touch her shoulder, she gets hysterical. Negative two reason. Uh, well, that didn't go too far, did it? Uh, we regained some reason, then we lost some reason. <laughs> now we lost some more reason. As part of therapy, some patients took part in our classes. Some of their work fills you with dread. Great. Boy, our stats are tanking really fast. Uh, you shot at a friend and moved, uh, suddenly without saying goodbye. Recent letter, he apologized for the disappearance and asked you to remove the furniture from his flat. Uh, strange check success, we move the furniture, uh, but, uh, we find a letter, shadow people was stalking him. He shut and realized he hadn't seen the moving company truck driver's face. Dun dun dun. Maybe he's not okay. Um, once again, I, I... Actually, we want to use the anatomy book. Gain some experience. Rest. 73. Three mysteries left. That's not good. We still haven't... We haven't went to the monument yet, though. So, it might not be too bad. Uh, negative one fund. Talking with an older woman, you can't help but notice her worried face and... 
quick looks point towards something behind you. Is it the wind? Uh, try to ignore the feeling. Ugh, give two reason. Reason is just getting like hammered this run. Good like rolls otherwise, but just like a lot. Um, take the quick route because we need to save on Doom. Oh no, we took some stamina damage. Um, you know what? This one's gonna end neutral, and we're gonna be able to heal in the next one. So I'm just gonna roll with the rest of it. Uh, we got a curse. We got branded. Just recently. Oh god, that's awful. Oh, what a bad one to get. Uh, okay, so we've got our computer set up. We're gonna check out the bulletin board. Uh, did you like it so far? Yes. All right. I'm glad. Take your phone off the modem and put it to your ear. Uh, remember the note. We call the note. Uh, it could be the voice of humanity. Uh, you understand they hear words. Uh, you don't hear words or voice. You still understand they don't need those. Everyone is here now. We escaped everything that held us back in life. We don't need to have any more burdens. Uh, you can't save everyone. Explain the imminent arrival of the old god. With its limitations, the bulletin board can never gather all humanity. So. And the bulletin board is now disappointed. And they're like, we'll come back when everybody's connected. And the noise cuts out on the other end of the line. We end up saving, saving the girl. So... Another floor to the lighthouse, great. And now we have to pick a new operation. Uh, but we actually did gain... We leveled up. Um, fail all events is not a good one. Negative 10% chance on combat actions. This, there could be worse things. Uh, negative 2 decks, negative 1 items. You know what, actually... Yes. We're only, we've only had two slots filled most of this run anyways, so. Uh, defeating enemy, oh my god, this is so good. If only we had had it earlier. Um, honestly, I hate to say it, but we're gonna have to kind of run this a little hot. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go with, just thinking thinking on this one. Seeing past uh, what I miss, we got Branded, which means that we have a chance to raise Doom every investigation. <sighs> if I take Reason... I'm trying to think of the order I want to do this in, because if I do the Flood next, if I do Flood next, we can, we can regain, we can max our stats, but then we have two bosses. Whereas if I do the apartment next, if I do the apartment next, we're going to have a boss. I get a heal between the boss if I do apartment next. So I'm going to take reason, even though, even though it's not great, I'm going to take it. Fortunately, there's not very many, like, like, enemy encounters in this one. Uh... It's just the boss that we have to deal with. Which if... I wish I knew the... Option. Well, got a word now. It has roguelike DLC in my brain. Went straight to Hades and Hades 2. Apparently Hades 2 is going to be in early access in the second quarter of 2024. Oh, very good. Uh, so we're going to do Residential Recluse. Alright. Uh, you don't get my normal... You don't get much normalcy in your life these days. Today was supposed to be just that. You plan to de-stress. Uh, it said you awoke to find yourself trapped inside your own apartment. The walls have grown over the doors. The war walls have grown over the doors and windows, leaving no exit. Looking for through the people, you yell and call to passing neighbors, but you cries fall on deaf ears. Yeah, uh, who could have done this to us? Yeah. All right. So right away, we don't have anything we can do. We all we can do is waste, waste another day. Investigation and wait. A hot bath is inviting. Uh, no time for it. Save some doom. So 69. It's like a okay. Take a look through the peephole. Yeah. So they can't get in. Waste another day. Sitting on the sofa, you find yourself repeatedly checking the time. 
uh, to get grounded. When you go to eat, you realize the clock in the kitchen displays a different time, and your bedroom alarm clock is a completely different time from the others. Uh, must be delirious. Uh, I forget which one of these is better, technically. Uh, must be delirious. Okay, that was actually that was a good option. Uh, being stuck in here is really start to get to your head. Set yourself straight, you slap yourself hard enough to see stars. Check some coffee and avoid looking at clocks again. Plus one reason, negative two stamina. The reasonable choice. Um, alright, so we're gonna go here, we're gonna look through the people. Okay, we're drawing on our door. Uh, waste another day. Actually, yeah. You might be able to get through this one relatively clean. When you stop uh, by home to pick up your lunch, you find a pile of letters. Uh, read the letters. Negative two funds. Doesn't matter. We didn't have the money anyways. Um. All right. So we have clothes. We have the kitchen. Um. We have VHS tapes, and we have the peephole. Uh, I guess we'll just waste another day here. Can you believe it, guys? Christmas less than a week away. Uh huh. Uh, loud knocking wakes us up. Check the door. Dexterity check success. Wow, we won that with two decks. Are you serious? Uh, five experience. Also, we're coughing blood. When do we? St oh, yeah, that's right too. We. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. That happened. All right. Oh, here we go. Um, we need to check the wardrobe. We don't want to do this yet because we don't know the answer to it yet. Fixing your lungs. Oh, envelope with money in it. Negative one reason. There we go. Look beneath the shelves. Um, uh, check the note. All right. I used to live here too. This was the only place that was, uh, something. Good. All I could do is stay and eat and sleep. And when the food ran out, just sleep. And when someone eventually came for my corpse, I'd already made my way inside. I, uh, you move it. I can't tell you how happy being, uh, you moved it. Can't help uh, telling you how happy being with you has made me. Please don't worry, I will keep you safe, I promise. Uh, check the note. Look beneath the shelf. I'm supposed to figure out like grafting bear claws to your own body with nothing but a scalpel, like an anesthetic, and determination probably led to coughing blood. Yeah, probably a little bit. Huh. Okay, so oh, we lost the chance. We lost the chance for the for the stuffed animal. I guess we just have to take the 50-50. I thought you had to wait till you got the note, and the note told you which was which. Um, cold bath is experience. Hot bath is stamina. Or never mind, it's doom. Alright. Approach the wall. As you get closer, you notice thin cracks in the wall above the bed. Something dark, uh, glistening red pulsates inside. The crack moves like lips. The apartment whispers you, just lay down. You hear wooden support beam creak as the wall flexes, reaching towards you from all sides. And let me take care of you. Prepare for combat. Yeah, the note is on the door, I think. Or was. I mean, yeah. Uh... The wall opens even further deeper. A girl lies curled up inside the apartment's womb. I just want you to be safe here. What did I do? Why won't you just stay? Alright. Roommate. The roommate we didn't know we had. That's right, too. We have to actually... Well, we could sever, technically. Actually, we could... We could fucking just do offering. I... We do offering for 9 damage. 9 and 9. 10. Uh, so... 18... 18, then it would be 5 and 5, so... So it'd be like... 3 turns. Yeah. Our best bet is probably to go for that. We have no other reason to learn the... Learn the, um, rituals, so... 
I feel like all the investigations, this one is the one that do code that do code in the most. What? Well, t probably yeah. It's because I resonate with this one so much. Mm. Y'all know my y'all know my affinity for climbing inside the walls. I wish I could do both. I feel weird that I'm not allowed to do both. Can I actually dodge? Can I? No, I can't. Can I? Can I do a sever and a dodge? No. Okay. Well, I guess I could just look at the numbers and know that. Yeah. So. Hmm. We're we're still fine. We're we're good. It's still good. We don't really need money for anything else this run, so there's very little reason not to use the money. I can't believe we're just like... We're, <laughs> we're literally paying our roommate to screw off. <laughs> Get out of here. There we go. Girl's face twists oddly. The apartment's pulsing innards slow to a still. Girl's most some... Um, well, something you can't make out, she smiles and falls unconscious. When you wake and you lay in the apartment entryway beside your open door. Next morning you see a silhouette on the balcony staring out at Shirakawa and watching the sunrise. You blink and she's gone. Mm. Which I think is a very funny, uh, answer to that. Okay, well, we can take knowledge, which... I mean, we're gonna need to do as much damage as we can over the next little bit. Actually, our stats are really good going into this one. Shockingly good. Why? Yeah, I know we literally paid her to fuck off. Uh, there we go. Ten knowledge. Really, dog disappeared. That sucks, but not a big deal. All right, our final operation is gonna be um. Hmm. Uh, yeah, the eye. Because negative 10% isn't that bad. We only have one combat left. One guaranteed combat left. Coughing blood, kind of. That's a bad one to have, but... Alright, so... We should be able to frightening flood. Oh, we fractured our ribs, too. Great. Oh, we're getting an injury per. I understand now. Okay. So, a uh, group of researchers from to University in Tokyo are researching curious rock formation. It was discovered a few weeks ago by tourists in a village next to Shirakawa. Uh, rock formation must somehow be connected with the vents. So, we're gonna go with taking the bus. Bus doors open, and we're being followed. Alright. Sweaty assailant. Oh wow, we're we don't even have to like prep anymore. Uh six, six, twelve plus four. Okay. Sixteen crop. Yeah, I don't get too much doom. Yeah, we're doing okay. There we go. Alright, so we gotta go to the inn. Masuda-san is here at Lyra Expedition. Uh, we gotta find his uh, colleagues. I can't rest here just yet. Wait, can I? No, okay. Uh, we gotta leave the building and find find his uh, colleagues. You weren't using dexterity anyways. True. Maybe one stamina. Okay. Research your notes. Okay. Uh, put that away. Oh my god. I think I may have... Holy shit, I think I might know something here. I wonder if this will work. It's in the middle of the field. Oh shit, um... Fuck, I wasn't expecting this. Enter the portal. Uh, it's the closest to the portal, ready to swap places. Lost in time and space, you drift into nothingness. Oh my goodness, it's the bleeding desert. Enter the temple! 
Holy fuck, we got the katana! <laughs> it's... We... Wow, we were... We, it was a bad time to have the katana, but it's... Just like that. Well, that's fucking amazing, but also sucks a bunch. I don't know if it's good to have this. Under normal circumstances, the katana would be amazing, but we have, like, no dexterity to work with this. Like, the katana normally does, like, 14 damage per hit, practically. Like, it does so much damage. But... Huh. But our scalpel is, like, literally, like, built for our stat. And we dropped our dex, I know, right? Huh. Alright, we're gonna rest the inn. So we get two per rest. Interesting. Okay. So we've we've um maxed our stats. Technically I could rest again, just get experience out of it, but Yeah, actually that's probably the most advisable thing to do. Uh as, as weird as it sounds, like this is like actually kind of a good thing for us. Um Okay, we gotta get out of here. All right, so skip the village. Okay, as you get closer to the bridge leading out of the village, Mr. Sand suddenly stops. I know this tune. Before you react, he begins to undress and runs into the darkness. Shocked, you hear a faint moaning coming from the rock formation. What you see there feels unreal. All the villagers are naked. Yeah. Uh, all right. Wow, these only do one reason each. That's wild. Normally, this does so much damage. Okay, we're gonna switch targets. Uh, 65 percent chance to hit so 75 85 95 six damage per so 12 so we get in like two I wish I could, like... Uh. Can I do it like this? Nope. Okay, so it's just, it is what it is. I don't know if your attack will carry over to another target. I don't think it does. <laughs> we missed anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right, did you ever get the C ending? Yes, I did. Uh, you've been rolling using the scalpel right now to the end of the game. Gives you something uh, for your dump stat. Uh. Yeah, you'd only get one attack off per turn, whereas this is probably more advisable. Like, I guess, like, here's, here's the thing. Like, under most circumstances, the katana would still be better, but because like we do, we get at most like 12 damage, probably. I might be able to 75, 85. Okay, I can't quite squeeze three in reliably. All right, so at most we're getting like 12 right now. So like. In most instances, Katana would be better just in this instance. Our, our knowledge is just so high. We're just too smart. Too smart for the Katana. Sixteen. This is like probably in our best interest to do it this way, so. There we go. Okay. Thirteen and five. That's not not the worst. The largest monster disappears as suddenly as it appeared. All that's left is of Kabara Village is a group of deeply confused villagers. Till it's too late for Masuda-san. 
Yeah. And we're going back to Shirakawa. Alright, so... Extra damage against human enemies. There's only like one enemy left in the game, potentially, so... Not doing that. Um, we could do... Perception... And I might actually just heal on reason, so that way we can save Doom. So... There we go. We got stir, roads leading out of town are closed. Uh, take the key. There's nothing we have left to do here. Uh, we're done our mysteries, we're going to the lighthouse. So, into the lighthouse. Into the lighthouse. And, uh... The good lighthouse is spooky. Everything's telling us not to climb. Yeah, how do you figure it out? Um, I forget. I actually got it by accident. Um... I forget what it is. It's one of the, it's one of the losing endings, I think. Where you have to just, like, uh, fail. AJ hey, Bomb, how you doing? This looks spooky right off the bat. Yes, this is World of Horror. It's our last night of streaming it, actually. It's been, been kind of a staple here for a while. Alright, Tony, uh, we gotta grab two metal bars. To act as a conductor are we do we have enough stats for such a thing we do actually have high enough knowledge you better grab the rods when you notice the dials and buttons you toy with them a bit before adjusting the voltage and current so it's safe for you to grab them genius uh oh oh my god takahashi-san uh, the rules have changed kiddo he says taking uh, the jacket and mask off nothing personal really nothing personal kid all right so we're gonna we're gonna Destroy Takahashi-san. You asshole, bite me. Didn't even stand a fucking chance. Demolished. Thanks. Yeah, I've been watching. Uh, I've been trying to watch you get it. Ah, yeah, I got it. Yeah. Uh, darkness, I don't have a light source, so we're gonna walk into that. Take three reason. On the winding staircase, you find a metal gate. Uh, cable powering. Uh... Powering is currently disconnected, so there's fumes and it's just not pleasant. There's a weird goo. Uh, we're not strong enough. Negative three stamina. Uh, select the title of the second mystery investigate, which was mermaids. Correct answer. Stop by a girl wearing a black, uh, a dirty black school uniform. Uh, not enough charisma. She she stabbed herself, and I guess we're just gonna walk around that. Think of two reason. That's it. Holy shit, that was a really short lighthouse. They never asked us what what the second monster we fought was. That's I don't think I've ever had that happen. There we go. That's it. Uh -huh. That is for all intents and purposes our our world of horror platinum. Hmm. Yeah, we did it. And as the unnatural fog slowly lifts, you're relieved and claps on the floor. Yeah. That was it. I like how it looks like we had a bloody nose. Just a little bit. A little... That's all, folks! We did it! Yeah, that's... That's all, folks! Uh... Hmm. And that's GG. That's all the world of horror. Achievements. Okay, that's everything. So, the reason why I say for all intents and purposes is for a very specific reason. So, the state the game is currently in right now, there is a rare glitch you can run into. Um, there's a rare glitch you can run into. Uh, which causes you to get locked out of being able to do classy ritual. I've done this one, I've tried to trigger it like two or three different times. You know what, out of all the games I've only seen three minutes of, this has been the... by far the best ending I've seen. <laughs> Perfect. Things going well, J-Bomb? Uh, um... So, unfortunately, I'm locked into the Platinum in this. Uh, sucks, but hopefully they'll fix that in an update. Uh... That'd be really nice. I might... Let's take a picture of that, so that, uh, yeah. So, for all intents and purposes, I'm gonna, uh, glad this game was fun enough to 100%. Do you wanna know what it unlocks? No, doesn't matter. 
I know, I know what the final unlock is. I accidentally spoiled myself at one point. So, pretty cool final unlock. Um, but yeah. So that was World of Horror. That's that was the grand finale. Yeah. Uh, like I said, um, I will probably finish off. That was considered the hardest of the challenge mode. Op like challenge mode. Uh missions, I guess. Um, I'll do the final one probably just on my own time. Uh, it's not particularly hard. You basically just get food items randomly over the course of, um, over the course of a run, which is like, it just makes it easier, honestly. So, this is a new funky mode, who cares? And, I mean, to be fair, Kana, Kana is like, uh, Playstyle is really neat, but it's not something I'm worried about. I'm sure at some point they'll patch the game and I can get the 100% for reals, but for all intents and purposes, I'm counting that as 100%. Because I both did, did the thing, I've done it before, it's not hard to do, it takes like two minutes to do. But if it won't pop, it won't pop. But at least for my own records, I can count it as as done. So I am going to count that as a hundred percent. So I think that's fair, you know. If it was something that I couldn't do, that like is another story. Well, I wouldn't count it, obviously. But uh, I've done it two or three times. Didn't pop any of the times I tried it, you know. So that's number 30. That's our 30th 100% of the year. And that is, that is, um, that's World of Horror. That was a really good game. I really like it. Um, I do think it's, it's a flawed game, but I like what the, it's such a different game from anything else out there that, uh, I think it's just one of those things that I'd be like, this is, out of all the games that came out this year, definitely it's very, probably in the top three for games that I'd say, are must play because they just have no no comparison there's there's nothing that's uh nothing that's quite like it mm. i'd be hard pressed to come up with anything off the top of my head that like resembles resembles a world of horror all right mm. Hmm. Hmm. You get a few games in my library like that, right? Yeah, it does happen. <sighs> All right. So, how is everyone? Hope everybody enjoyed the final run of World of Horror. It's gonna feel a little bit empty without it. Not gonna lie. It's been such a like I said. It's been kind of a staple here. Hmm. But you know what, honestly, it's also a game that's very, like, text-heavy, so I don't think, like, back when I was reading through all the mysteries and stuff like that, it was the first time doing stuff, it was really, really good, but I do think, like, over the course of its, like, life, reading through stuff over and over was starting to, like, wear, wear a little bit thin. I probably did a little bit too long for, from, for what I should have been doing, I guess. Um, okay, so, let me see... Next up, we're going to be doing Jacinthe. Um, I'm going to take a short break. I'm going to take where I took a really, I took an extended break. I'm going to just take probably, I'm going to say like eight minutes. I'll just take an eight minute break. Um, and when I get back, um, do I take an eight minute? Maybe I should just do 12. What do y'all think? Do y'all mind if I take a 12? I'll take a 12. Yeah. And when we get back, we're going to be playing a game about rock climbing. We're going to be polishing off the platinum for it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to check a couple things because when I do do a thing, so, uh, but yeah, uh, we're going to be playing, uh, just on a rock climbing game and hopefully getting that platinum. So anyways, 
I'll be back in 12 minutes. Everybody hang tight, enjoy the clip show, and I'll see y'all in a few. Uh, so, BRB. Uh. Paper a lot. What is the ability on it? Pressure wave. Ah, uh, okay, I better switch because the defaults don't start with an ability, I guess. Actually, just shoot me for a second. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. I was pretty much 95% positive that there was no team fire. But, oh, yeah, no, I, yeah. I peppered you earlier to make yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah. <Hardcore. laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you can't, you just, uh, what? You peppered me earlier? It didn't fucking consent to that. Uh, oh, yeah, like, like point blank the shotgun at the back. It was, it was brutal. <laughs> like, if there was friendly fire, we would have known. Oh, my God, okay. I can't lie, I fucking love that model. Anyways, um, it took seven cycles to fucking get those mushrooms organized. What? I put it in the middle. What? God, I haven't played such a hard game since Cleopatra's Fortune. Okay. Wait a minute. Um. Uh. <laughs> I didn't expect the grenade to impact with his head. Oh my god. Ah oh shit, I'm like. I'm burned out. Oh fuck, I'm going for a ride! Oh my god! <laughs> I was like, this is the only thing I can do is fucking go right into my level 3. <laughs> I thought I lost that, like... I thought I lost it. Oh. I was... Oh my god. My soul left my body. Playing arcade games, playing through as many arcade games as we can on a single set. Oh. Holy fuck! Did y'all hear that? It's thundering here right now. Am I still online? <laughs> wow. That was, that was loud. That was really close. I'm not even gonna lie, everything turned off here briefly and my computer didn't shut off. That's how, like... Yeah, I'm okay. Wow. <laughs> I did hear that. It sounded like a bucket falling over. That was the loudest, like, bolt I've ever heard. Holy fuck. Wow. Um, OBS didn't drop. <laughs> my stream didn't drop from that. The power went out. How does it even happen? <laughs> Like everything, everything turned off. I was like, "Ah, oh, fuck! Are you kidding me?" This, this, this kills me every single time. It's him. He's here with us to help us through. Through. I love that it almost perfectly fits. It's the rock. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> this game isn't subtle about its references sometimes. But I don't see how it could be a I don't see how it could go wrong. <laughs>